cool blimey i have only gone and published a hundred episodes of the little beauty i call the everyday storyteller now that's what i call starting back with a bang hello wonderful listeners and welcome to season two of the everyday storyteller the daily podcast for women with something to say and have i got some brilliant things to talk to you about over the coming weeks and months from mind-blowing chemicals to make sure no one forgets you to juicy juicy tips on giving your stories a glow up and even the return of my storytelling masterclass a whole week of episodes dedicated to helping you take what you've been learning from the theoretical podcast to the practical with a super easy structure and tons of friendly guidance to get you writing and telling brilliant stories but that's all to come So what's happening in the here and now? Since launching the show in November 2022, I've had lots of people asking me what it's like to run a podcast, in particular, what it's like to run a daily show. So I thought I would share some of the highs and lows with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is hard work. A relentless hamster wheel of scripts, edits, show notes and promotion. There are weeks when the thought of shifting all of my clothes out of the wardrobe is enough to make me pack it all in for good. For those of you that don't know, I record in my wardrobe. In fact, that's where I am right now, surrounded by dusty shoes and boxes of summer dresses desperately waiting to be released. And don't get me started on writer's block. Coming up with a hundred show ideas really does take its toll. But honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's no secret that I've struggled with my voice in the past. I spent most of my 20s thinking I wasn't worthy of a voice. Come my 30s, I thought I had nailed it, but it turns out no. I was just being the person that others expected me to be. Rather than owning my own story, I was just living out other people's. And it made me ill, like really ill. And I knew something had to change. Now, as I stare 43 firmly in the eyes, not only am I telling my own story and using my voice, the real one, I'm also helping other women to do the same. And this makes all the long hours creating this show and getting the word out there about it 100% worth it. So what's my key takeaway? If you want to do the thing, do the thing. If I'd really thought about how much was involved in this podcast, it may never have seen the light of day. But I didn't. All I cared about was how many women I could reach and help. How many brilliant women who are going through similar experiences to me. And why? Because this world needs more female voices. It's as simple as that. And what keeps me going? Well, it's you, my fabulous listeners who have made me part of your daily routine the wonderful feedback that you share about how you try something new, inspired by this show, and the generosity I see in the podcasting community to welcoming in a newbie like me and making me feel like I'm in a place where I truly belong. Cheers to the next 100 shows, and thanks again for your wonderful support. <laughs>